In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a landing page from your Dynamics Pro to your website. Now, the website I'm going to use uh, is a WordPress website. Um, if you have a different website, you'll probably want to take this to your web developer, and then they, they should be able to add it to your website. So, um, there's, I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. Um, the first way I'm going to show you is inside your Dynamics Pro under landing pages, we actually have the landing page editor in here, and um, it's really easy. You don't have to have um, really a lot of computer knowledge to be able to build a landing page in here, so it's a lot easier. So um, let's just say that I built this landing page right here, the home buyer class. Now, if I want to open this up in a new tab to see what this web page looks like, I'm going to click on uh, this, and it's going to open it up. Now here is the URL up here at the top. So this is the actual uh, website address of this web page right here. So for my home buyer class. Now the way that I got to that again is to the left of it, there's a box with an arrow pointing up to the right that opens it up in a new window and I just clicked it. And then if I got to get the website URL, it's right here up at the top in the address bar. The other way of getting the uh, website URL or the landing page URL is if I go over to links and HTML and then hit this get link you'll notice that this link right here is the same as when I opened it up in a new window and this is in the address bar so uh, both those ways get that link now if I want to just add this landing page that I built inside this uh, Dynamics Pro where I don't need a lot of website knowledge or you know coding knowledge then um, this is the way that you'll want to do it okay so on my WordPress website, I have a demo uh, page right here, and I want to add it under this resource tab right here, my home buyer class page. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my WordPress dashboard, I'm going to log in, and then I want to go to appearance, and then I want to click on menus right here. Okay, so um, appearance and then menus. So um, what that is is Appearance is the appearance of the website, and then this is a menu. And now I want to create a drop down menu right here with my home buyer class landing page. Okay, so the way that I do that is once I'm in my dashboard, I click on or I hover my mouse over appearance or click on appearance and then click on menus because you want to add it to your menu. And now I want to add it under resources. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to custom links right here. And where it says URL, I want to copy my landing page URL right here. So I'm going to right click and copy. Or again, I could also open up this links in HTML, get link right here, and then copy this. Either way is the same thing. So next, I'm going to go over to my dashboard again, over where my appearance and menus are, and this URL spot, I'm just going to paste in my uh, landing page URL, and then what do you want to name this? I want to name it Home Buyer Class. So I'm going to click on Add to Menu, and what's going to happen is it's going to come from here and move over to the very bottom. Okay, so you'll notice it says home, listing search, resources, about, blog, contact, home buyer class. I'm going to click save menu over here or down here, either way. What's going to happen is um, it's going to move behind this contact, um, the home buyer class. So if I go back to my website, here it is home, listing, resource, about, blog, contact. So it's going to show up to the right of this. So I'm going to hit refresh because this is the old page. I'm going to hit refresh and you'll see that it comes behind contact because right here it's behind contact. Okay. So I'm going to hit refresh. <coughs> Excuse me. And then now you'll see home buyer class. But I don't want it there. I want it below resources on a drop down. So what I'll do is I'll go back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up and I'm going to put it under resources but you'll notice that they're all lined up straight. So if I hit save menu right there, and then I go back to my page, you'll notice that moves home buyer class in between listing search and resources or wherever I put it. So I'm gonna hit refresh and you'll notice that it moves over here. I think it maybe goes between resources and about, yeah. So home buyer class became, uh, went in between resources and about, 
But I, again, I want my home buyer class underneath this resources, under resources. Or I might want to leave it there. If I want to leave it there, then just leave it there. But if I want it to go under resources, then what I'll do is I will take this and I'm going to move it under resource. Uh, whoops. I'm going to take this home buyer class and it's under resources, but I'm going to indent it. So when you indent it, it will actually put it as a drop down now. So if I hit save menu, go back and then hit refresh. Now you'll notice home buyer class went under resource. Now when I hover my mouse under resources, um, then it clicks uh, the home buyer class. Now if I click on this, so if I go back, If I go back, actually let me go back here. If I click on this home buyer class, you'll notice that this tab right here will change to the home buyer landing page. Okay, so watch when I click this, it's going to change this, and now I'm on my home buyer class. But let's just say that I want, whenever I click on home buyer class, that I want this tab to stay on my home page, on my website, but then I want it to open up into a new tab, like over here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the menus and in WordPress you got to go up to the screen options up in the top right hand corner, click on the drop down arrow and you have to make sure that this link target right here is checked. Okay. Once that's checked, if you go down, it's going to create this thing that says open link in a new tab and I'm going to click on it and then again I got to save my changes. And now what's going to happen is instead of when I click on home buyer class and this tab changes, it's going to open up into like a new tab right here to the right. So watch now resources and click on home buyer class. Now watch, it's going to open up in a new tab. Oops. Oh, I forgot to hit refresh. Let me hit refresh real quick. So refresh. After I save my change, I, you have to hit refresh on that page for it to get the change. So I'm glad I made that mistake. That way you'll know. So hover over it, now hit home buyer class, now it opens up in a new tab. So it's kind of good I made my mistake that way if you click on it and it doesn't open up, you're, that's what it was. You had to refresh the page. Anytime you save a change, you got to go back to the page and refresh it so it registers the new changes. Okay. Now there is another way of adding it to your website instead of a link, um, but you're probably either going to have to know some coding um, or website knowledge, or you're just going to have to really probably send it over to your web developer and then they could add it to a page on your actual website. Now the way that you do that is in the WordPress website there's these things called pages, okay, and then you click add new. So I'm going to click on add new. And then you got to name it. So I'm going to put, you know, test home Buyer class by one. Actually, uh, May. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on publish. And then, are you ready to publish? Yep, publish. So it says it's publishing, and this wheel is spinning. And now it created this uh, website um, address. So if I view page, I click on view page. And this is what it looks like. I just put my title of my class and it's a blank page, okay? This is why you would need a web developer because they would need to design your home buyer class uh, uh, page um, either with the current theme that you have installed on your website or, um, or through coding or HTML coding and CSS coding. So again, that may not make sense to you, but that if that does not make sense to you, then you don't need to be doing it this way. You need to send it over to a web developer so they could uh, build you a page. So like, I don't know if I was using this Divi builder right here. It's gonna take a second. All right, and I'm just going to build from scratch, and I'm going to add a row, and actually I'll just add uh, two rows right here, or two columns, I guess is what it would be, because I got, um, and then I want to add a image on this side, and then basically all I'm going to do is upload an image, so let's just say that I'm going to use 
this image right here, new house, for my home buyer class. So I'm going to add this image in there. So you can see it added the image. And then right here, i got to click on adding a new module. And then I'm going to look for a text module. Okay, now that i got my text module in here, um, I'm going to replace it. And now what you do is if you want to add the landing page form, which is basically just this, because you're designing. That's why it's good to have your Dynamics Pro, because you can, without computer knowledge, or not really computer knowledge, but building website page knowledge, you could actually build a, uh, a landing page very easily inside the Dynamics Pro. But if you're going to add uh, a landing page inside your actual website, you're going to need to know how to code it or use your particular theme that's on your WordPress website. If you don't have a WordPress website, again, you're going to have to send it over to your web developer. I'm, I'm just kind of stressing that because we can't work on anybody's website. That's not one that we built. So um, if you want to add this form, first name, last name, email, phone number, comments, all this stuff, what you'll do is you'll go back to your Dynamics Pro and you're inside your landing page area. Let me just actually go from the home, go to the landing page area, go to the same web page, but instead you're saying, I'm not going to use the landing page that I built inside the Dynamics Pro. I'm going to use, I'm going to have my web developer or I'm going to build the page in my actual website and then I need the code that actually goes in there that will transfer this form to my website. So f the form is just whenever they put first name, last name, email, phone number, all that stuff into it, and they hit the submit button, that information is going to fly into the Dynamics Pro and then create all your autoresponder and to-do plans. So, um, so if I go click on links in HTML and get the HTML code right here, you'll notice it's a bunch of computer code. Again, that's why you need a web developer. So I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to go back to my website. And now I'm going to add this into, instead of the visual area, I'm going to add it to the text area, and then paste it. And then now you'll notice that that form got loaded into there. Now, of course, this is just a demonstration, so I'm not going to build one from scratch here because, again, that's what your web developer will do. Or if you have knowledge, you know how to build these web pages. So that would be the second way. If you want to actually build the landing page right inside of your website, you could transfer the form um, that we use in the Dynamics Pro. And then once you transfer this form in there, when they fill out this information right here and they hit this Click Here button, this information is going to fly into your Dynamics Pro and do what it does or you could just add it to your resources um, through a link and then that way you could just build it right inside your Dynamics Pro. So um, again, if you don't have any computer knowledge, just do, use the first way. And if you do have computer knowledge, then you know how to build a page on your website and then you know that, uh, that you need the HTML code right here to transfer the form over to the page. So I did want to show that. Second way is uh, definitely way more advanced. First way, pretty easy.